तो भी लाइक ओके हेलो एंड वेलकम टू क्या लग रहा है मार्केट और डेली प्रोग्राम ऑन निफ्टी बैंक निफ्टी एंड ग्लोबल मार्केट एनालिसिस आई एम लाइव फ्रॉम व्हाट अपीयर्स टू बी अ सोवियत इरा बंकर फॉर प्रोटेक्टिंग द पीपल अगेंस्ट अमेरिकन न्यूक्लियर वॉर हेड्स तो आई एम किडिंग दिस इज लाइक अ वेरी ओल्ड हाउस सो हियर वी आर डूइंग के लार्सन फ्रॉम अ so again i am not in bangalore i am in uh, kerala right now in my hometown uh, because yeah i don't yeah i mean because yeah i don't i think yeah yeah shaurya raj pillai is saying my life background is getting scarier every day dude actually it's not scary it's it's quite a nice place in the morning it is very nice Kishan is saying haunted house. Yes, Kishan, that's exactly what my wife is saying too. In fact, I can, I can totally see how an American horror movie would start in this house. <laughs> so, so yeah. So this is, uh, or it appears to be like a retro coffee place in India. That's not true, Amar. If I was in a retro coffee coffee place. <laughs> <laughs> in uh, Indira Nagar, uh, first of all, I would be slightly having breathing difficulties. Second, you would not, you would have seen like a boat parked behind me, which I used to get to Indira Nagar from uh, JP Nagar. So no. <laughs> so so let's get started with today's Kiala Gram market and look at what we said yesterday's and see if any of this stuff is. Uh, so we said. uh we are happy to sell call long term calls because there's fundamental market in weakness fis are adding shorts there was a lot of call selling uh nifty was struggling to grow up and we said if tomorrow is weak that is today was weak expect more selling so yeah mlll thank you so much you reminded me of this i will discuss your chart today so let me do this right away just to make sure that i don't forget that i am going to take your chart and load it in ha huh. load it in one of the web browsers i have so let me just make sure that i'm loading your chart one second loads okay so now let's go to today's analysis so obviously the first thing we look at is nifty i still see a lot of uh, comments uh, coming <laughs> booth somebody is saying there are like three people <laughs> behind me oh god <laughs> you know i i'm not alone here if i was alone here i would have been really really scared i kid you not there is like a skeleton dude i am kidding you not there is like an actual skeleton in this house of uh, there is like the skull of some animal i don't know if it's a like a bull or if it's like a dolphin or i mean in the sense that it's either like a four legged uh, you know cow buffalo bull type thing or it's like a marine mammal so so yeah for real there are skeletons in this <laughs> house so let's see so today was a uh, negative candle but it confirmed yesterday's bearish uh, piercing similarly in nifty uh, bank nifty is tricky because on the one hand i can think this is a shooting star but on the other hand i can also think this is an inverted hammer right uh, so bank nifty i'm not going to comment it could be either uh because yesterday was hanging man today is an inverted hammer or a shooting star i don't know which one it is but it is something if it was a red body i would have easily said this is definitely a hanging man but this could be either but nifty is pretty clear it has confirmed a bearish engulfing sorry bearish piercing right so let me just quickly change the date nifty confirmed a bearish piercing pattern bank nifty 
forming a inverted hammer or uh, so inverted hammer is a bullish pattern uh, shooting star is a bearish pattern so it's very tricky i don't want to comment on this because it could be either right we are not sure we are sure if you're not sure you're not sure <clears throat> now let's go to option chain option is very expected right everybody sold calls what else do you want to expect today and today you can see massive call writing 25000 plus is a support there's no resistance sorry plus is a resistance there's no support till 24800 25000 plus is massive resistance no support till 24800 and that too it's not like ki kuch toad fort support hai, right this is comparatively is nothing pcr is 0 0.68 around atm and 0 0.5 overall <clears throat> right both of this is weak now let's look at participant option data so yeah ye client is just mental they've added like four lakh calls today Pro has sold calls today. Pro has bought puts today. So, Pro short 3L calls, 3L calls, 3.3L calls, and short and long <clears throat> 83K puts. Client short eleven point five L puts, but before that, client is also short how many calls? Short three L calls. But what has really worked for us in the recent past is the futures OI. As expected, FII shorted more, client has gone long more, and that's because FII sold more today. That's relentless selling. FII sold roughly 700 crores, right? FII selling even more calls, more futures, client buying more futures. <clears throat> FI OI uh, on uh, so FI sold 684 crores today in futures client sorry FI sold sold 3,400 crores. This is some massive selling in cash. Huh? So this is worrying me because 3,500 crores, 1,800 crores, 3,700 crores, 4,000 crores, 5,000 crores, 4,000 crores, 5,000 crores, 8,000 crores, 9,000 crores, 15,000 crores, 6,000 crores, 9,000 crores, 1,200 crores. Yeah, this is some massive, massive selling going on. Now let's just change it to the <coughs> monthly view. Let's see. So, October 2024, FIA has sold 67,000 crores so far. Oh, that's, that's, that's alarming. Oh, so now, so let's see. Jan 35,000, Feb 15,000, March 3,000, April 35,000, May 42,000, June 2,000, July 5,000 plus. This, I think, is the single biggest month of selling by FII ever. Okay. And this is not even half the month. I mean, this is kind of half the month, right? <clears throat> October total sell at 65k crores now. Yeah, ye to kuch to hai. 
this is too much <laughs> rohit is saying they are all canadian fis dude like i didn't even know canada was a real country <laughs> till all this started so, sorry sorry this is like a joke about <laughs> yaar yeah, everybody has made this you know haunted house thing very real uh Sampath is asking how to hedge equity portfolio. Dude, that's very very tough <clears throat> because if you hedge, right, you will hedge using probably futures or options or something. But us me whatever profit you make, you have to pay at thirty thirty percent tax. So I don't think I maybe it's a better idea to. But I'll just research about it and come back and <clears throat> tell the best uh, you know tell the best way to do this. But if you're using futures to hedge then no point here vinayak is making a very nice point here so let's because we are approaching expiry tomorrow let's take a sneak peek preview at what weekly candles are looking like so nifty is looking hmm, bank nifty is looking evening star ah how oh, here it's not evening star bank nifty actually looks bullish so this is confusing because bank nifty looks strong nifty looks weak and that's kind of okay <clears throat> i mean see last week bank nifty formed a bullish hammer now it's confirming it nifty last week formed nothing but this week looks weak so two different stories into two indices all together but coming back what's the verdict i have zero change in uh -huh. nifty week expiry highly likely below Thousand or worse. <clears throat> and happy to sell. <clears throat> so I mean, this week we could have actually done a twenty-five thousand call sell, but unfortunately we can't do this <clears throat> till view changes. <clears throat> Bearish in medium term. Now let's see MLS chart. MLS is saying that there is a support here. So in case you want to draw this channel, you can try drawing this channel. This is Nifty since COVID. He has he actually he has connected multiple points. So he is basically saying that there is some kind of support emerging here. But I think the other thing which he also wants to say is if it breaks, we'll see a crackdown. MLS, thanks for sharing this chart. Um, sorry, I I am sure MLS has a real name. i should use that no he calls himself mlm <clears throat> so his view is that middle of the channel was broken in june and now the middle has acted as support twice in case the middle of the channel breaks mlm expects more downside this time to probably this territory wherever that is right but before we go let's quickly look at all the other stuff that is going on in the world snp is slightly up not in a big way but technically yesterday snp formed a bearish engulfing candle <clears throat> dollar index is going up gold is Again, hovering around its all-time high, silver slightly up. India ten-year bond is flat. TLT has gone up. We were earlier talking about this, and now it has again formed a <coughs> uncertainty doji. And now US ten-year bond uh, is also going up in price. US ten-year yield is coming down, which means bonds are probably strengthening. But the important number we track: crude oil is plummeting. right and again this is kind of worrying me see a lot of people will say bhai khush ho jao petrol prices will drop boss petrol prices will not drop we have seen this for the last 10 years petrol prices have never dropped in india so let's stop kidding ourselves it's not going to happen btc usd is actually forming so we were really talking about this if it's able to break this zone it can probably go and test who knows 70 6000 maybe even more because 76000 is kya hai yaar it's just 9000 points right 15 point 
15 परसेंट इज नथिंग फॉर बिटकॉइन तो वन लास्ट थिंग बिफोर वी गो वील जस्ट क्विकली सी इफ देर आर इवेंट्स एनी इवेंट्स आई डोंट थिंक देर आर European Central Bank, Europe nobody cares about it now. Tomorrow there is initial jobless claims that's important. Retail sales kind of important. Uh, China GDP releases on Friday 7:30 a.m. This could be interesting. Uh, China industrial production also releases on. So this is going to be very interesting. 18th October there is housing starts, which is again very important from a U.S. data perspective, but. Nothing thamake da, right? I think this could be kind of interesting. This China uh, industrial production, but I don't think US is going to give any further cues till elections come, right? So yeah. Now let me quickly go through comments one last time before. Uh... <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, Anirudh, you are very right. Nifty is just getting re uh, rejected every time. Expecting a real ground back. Good lord. Uh, are you kidnapped again? No, bro, not kidnapped again. It's not a good time to build portfolio. Absolutely not. Uh, oh, that's a tough one. I don't know the answer to the last question, but anyway, I think uh, tomorrow we'll probably see a weak expiry if there are no other surprises. So, won't play long, won't try to bottom fish. Tomorrow looks like one of those days when we'll have a weak expiry, unless of course something changes. But so far, nothing is uh, remotely hinting anything in the realm of change. So that is our analysis for today. We'll see you again tomorrow. Thank you for joining, and as usual.